They're planning on building a 30-acre, 18-storey uh, substation. It's going to have a huge impact on tourism in uh, Thorpe Ness, Oldborough, Leyston, coastal towns. I've seen so many different ages on the beach enjoying things. There's dog walkers around, there's people doing Duke of Edinburgh, there's people just having walks around. It's a very beautiful place, Friston and Oldborough and Thorpe Ness. And that's just all going to be ruined and people aren't going to be do that anymore. When people see a whole, like a line of traffic, clogged up roads, they're just going to think, oh, there's no point coming down, we're going to just go home. And businesses will lose money and the festivals won't get the attention that they need and that they should have. The thing that we really don't appreciate in Friston is that Scottish Power aren't being very open with us. They're not telling us what's happening and they're sort of saying things and really confusing us and holding meetings that don't actually count to anything and it's just sort of not really doing anything for us and not letting us know what's actually going to happen to our village and where we live and our houses and stuff like that. We're not getting any emails back, we've written letters, they're just not responding to us, they're ignoring us. All locals should get involved and do as much as they can, go to meetings, uh, protests and emails, anything they can to make the MPs and people at Parliament realise that this is a problem and it's not just some small village that doesn't really matter, it is, it's going to matter. If Scottish Power get their way and they build this detrimental substation, I think I feel disappointed that we couldn't do enough or we weren't recognised enough to put a stop or at least decrease the whole situation. And I really, really hope they don't get planning permission for the sake of my village, for Oldborough, for Thorpe Ness and all the businesses. I just think we should get as many people to email. I think social media is a really good idea because of what generation we are in now. I think that if anybody, no matter how old they are, no matter who they are, it doesn't matter, you can make a change and anything would help our Suffolk coastal environment, the, the animals, us, anything would help.